My name is Mark Taylor Canfield. I'm a resident of Seattle's District Number 7, and I'm here to speak today in favor of Council Member Shama Sawant's resolution to support an extension of the rental eviction moratorium in Seattle. As Executive Director for Democracy Watch News, an international news organization, one of my major concerns is the increase in economic displacement and houselessness that I see. In order to sustain a healthy democracy, people must have their basic needs met. Otherwise, the result is apathy and lack of civic engagement and non-participation in governance. Therefore, economic issues and issues affecting democracy are intertwined and indivisible. I maintain that a lack of affordable housing is a major blight on our nation and leading to widespread suffering and economic desperation, mental and physical illness, and increased incidence of property crimes. If the large number of houseless encampments were located on international borders, they would be called economic refugee camps, and they would qualify for aid from international organizations such as the United Nations and the Red Cross. But because they are located within our U.S. cities, in vacant lots, under bridges, and hidden from view, they are treated as illegal settlements subject to police raids and confiscation of personal private property, therefore criminalizing poverty. More evictions will only make matters worse since there has not been enough progress in providing adequate housing for the city, and I know we all agree on that. I urge the City Council and Mayor Bruce Harrell to continue the moratorium on rental evictions until housing is available and the pandemic ends. I also encourage the Mayor and the Council to adopt a basic guaranteed income program to help alleviate the current increase in poverty as housing costs become more prohibitive and no rent control is available for residents of this state. Thank you for listening. I appreciate your time. Please vote yes on the resolution to extend the rental eviction moratorium in Seattle.